The Easy Companion controls the speed, direction, and sound functions on any of your DCC-equipped locomotives in exactly the same way that your Easy Command Control Center does. Let's take a look at how it works. First, you can select the digital address of the locomotive you want to run by pressing the button assigned to that locomotive. Button 10 will run an analog locomotive. The direction buttons on the Easy Companion will determine which direction your locomotive will run. Press the left button to make your locomotive go forward. Press the right button to put it in reverse. Notice that the red LED above each direction button lights up when that button is activated. These LEDs will tell you at a glance which direction button is active. To operate your locomotive, simply select and press the direction button and turn the speed control clockwise to start your engine. This brings us to operating more than one locomotive or train at a time. Once you have used the companion to start a locomotive or train, you can push a different number button to activate another locomotive. The first locomotive will continue running at its original settings. Now you can control the other locomotive that you have just activated. To change the run settings on the first locomotive, you must push the number button assigned to it and move the speed knob slightly. This will give you control over speed and direction of the locomotive once more. The stop button is for emergency stops only. When it is clicked and released, the locomotive that is currently being controlled by the Easy Companion will stop. All other locomotives will continue running. If you want to stop all of the locomotives that are running, you must push the stop button on the Easy Command Control Center. To resume operation of the engine you've stopped with the Easy Companion unit, simply turn the speed control knob up or down and your locomotive will begin moving again. The yellow function button on the Easy Companion enables you to control up to four of the optional sound or lighting features that some manufacturers include with their locomotive or decoder products. To activate these features, simply press the function button. The LED next to the locomotive number button that is currently active, number four for example, will blink, indicating that you are now in the function mode. You will still be able to control the speed and direction of your locomotive. However, in the function mode, number buttons one through three will control the optional sound and lighting functions that have been included with your decoder. Consult the manufacturer's instructions that came with your decoder or locomotive to determine which functions are controlled by which number buttons. Button 10 will control the lights on your locomotive. To exit the function mode, simply click the function button again. Should you experience a short circuit while operating your Easy Companion, the stop LED and the number one LED on the Easy Command Control Center will flash rapidly. This tells you that a short has occurred. After a short time, a built-in protective device will cut off power to the command control center. For additional safety, it is best to unplug the AC wall pack from the back of the command control center. Most short circuits are caused by derailed equipment or metal objects accidentally placed across both rails of the track. To resume operation, you must find and remove the cause of the short circuit. Once you have done this, you can plug the AC wall pack into the back of the command control center and start running your trains. When operating the Easy Companion in concert with the Easy Command Control Center, there may be occasions when both units have addressed the same locomotive. The controller that addresses the locomotive last will have control of it. Of course, at other times, you will want to hand off control of a locomotive from one unit to the other. An example might be when the Easy Command unit is used for making up a train in the yard. Then the Easy Companion can be employed to take the train out on the road. It is this type of flexibility that makes the Easy Companion an invaluable component of the Easy Command Digital Command Control System. If you have a smaller layout, you can use the Easy Companion and the Easy Command Control Center to build a two throttle control panel from which you can control your entire layout. If you want more mobility, 
the flexible coil Category 5 connector cable will allow you to get up and follow your train more closely around the layout. Of course, if you want even more mobility, you can plug your Easy Companion into one of Bachmann's Walk Around Easy Companion connector panels. These connectors are engineered to easily mount in the front fascia of your layout so that you can use your Easy Companion as a walk around controller and move from one location to another. The Walk Around Easy Companion Connector Panel, or Connector Panel for short, makes it a snap to use your Easy Companion as a walk around controller. Installing several of them on a large layout can give you complete operating access to the entire railroad. Each Easy Companion Connector Plate comes with a template similar to this one for easy positioning of the plate on the layout fascia. Four mounting screws and an 8 foot Category 5 connector cable. Bachman has designed it so that installation and setup can be easily accomplished. Let's see how it's done. The first step in installing Easy Companion connector plates is to determine where you want to locate them. This is a matter of personal choice, but generally speaking, you want to install plates near high traffic areas on your layout or areas where you need to do lots of hands-on operating, such as yards, industrial trackage, or stations. Remember, the cables supplied with your connector plates are only 8 feet long, so don't put your connector panels too far apart. Once you have determined where you want to place the connector plate, use the template to position it on the layout fascia. Using a pencil, mark the location of each of the mounting screws on the fascia and the middle area that needs to be removed to allow the connector panel to mount flush with the fascia. Now, using a smaller drill bit, drill a pilot hole in each of the mounting screw locations. Next, you can use a couple of methods to open up and remove the wood from the area where you will slide the connector panel into the fascia. Start by using an electric drill to drill a hole inside each corner of the pencil marks. Now, you can use a portable jigsaw to cut along the pencil marks to cut out the area. Or, you can use one of the new cutting blades for rotary hobby tools to remove the wood. Once you have removed the wood, you can slide the Easy Companion connector panel into the opening and fasten it to the fascia with the four mounting screws. Repeat this procedure for any other Easy Companion connector panels that you want to install. Connecting the panels to the Easy Command Control Center is easy. First, Make sure you have disconnected the power wire from the back of the Easy Command Control Center. Now, plug one end of the 8-foot Category 5 connector cable into the I.O. port on the back of the Easy Command Control Center. Plug the other end of the cable into the connector on the back of the Easy Companion connector panel that is closest to Easy Command Control Center. Now, plug one end of the Category 5 connector cable from the second connector panel into the other rear connector on the first connector panel. Next, put the other end of this cable into the rear plug on the second panel that is closest to the first connector panel. Continue this procedure until all of the panels are wired together using the Category 5 connector cables. Caution: Wiring a series of connector panels in a closed circuit will cause the system to short out. When installing series wiring, always leave the last panel open as shown in the diagram. Now, plug the track power wire into the EC Command Control Center. Notice that the LED on the front of the panel will light up. This means that the connector is receiving power from the EC Command Unit. Now you're ready to operate your trains using the Easy Companion as a walk around controller. Just plug the Companion's Category 5 coiled cable into one of the receptacles on the front of one of the panel connectors. Now you can control and operate your trains from this remote location. If you want to follow your train or move to the next location, just unplug the Easy Companion and go to the next connector panel. 
your train will continue running at the speed and in the same direction you last set. When you plug into the next connector panel, you will reacquire control of your train. This feature allows you to follow your train around the layout without having to stop operations each time you change locations. That's it. What could be easier? The Easy Companion Connector Panel makes it easy to install true walk-around control on your layout.